Lives of the Earth is a nonprofit organization with the development of rock powders and other natural materials as uh, slow lasting, long release natural fertilizers. Uh, we're engaged in a project right now at New Harmony Farm in West Newbury, Massachusetts, where we are testing a variety of different basalt rock powders in conjunction with biochar, which is a natural carbon-based material that was originally developed by the Amazonian Indians. And the reason for this is that we think that the rock powder will add essential minerals to the soil, and the biochar, which is essentially a form of carbon, will help to absorb them, retain those minerals, and make them available to the roots of the plants. So our goal is really to test these combinations to see what the best ratio of biochar to basalt dust is. And this project has many several different angles. One is to develop natural, long-term, slow-release fertilizers that increase agricultural productivity, forest productivity, and soil fertility. The second aspect is to produce more nutritious crops that have the elements that are needed for the, the health of the people who eat them. But beyond that, a major focus is really to develop methods that are contributing to reducing the excess of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and preventing the effects of runaway global warming. Biochar is a carbon compound that's made from CO2 that's absorbed from the atmosphere, put into plants, and when it's converted to biochar, it stays in the soil and lasts almost forever. So it's pulling CO2 out, burying it, and then serving as a reservoir in the soil to retain water and nutrients. The rock powders that we put in provide the nutrients that the biochar needs to be fully fertile and at the same time the release of those minerals from the rock is also a sink of carbon from the atmosphere because CO2 is weathering the rocks and then releasing those minerals. So when we combine these things together we hope to get a more nutritious form of food, a more productive form of agriculture and to solve some of the global long-term ecological problems. The research effort has been started without any funding. Um, we're accumulating a lot of materials that need to be analyzed so that we can compare the long-term changes of the soil fertility and the nutritional value of the crop that we produce. So we're quite confident that once we get some of these results, we'll be able to track long-term funding because it is a long-term program. It takes years for these fertilizers to come into full effect. So we're looking at this moment for some intervening support, a few thousand dollars to uh, basically tied us through getting these initial analyses done, but we expect we'll lead to longer term funding from other sources.